Hello everyone, today is Tuesday, October 22nd. It's about 4.38 p.m. Eastern Time, about 40 minutes after the regular session close. And I have another live video today from Trader Jim. A uh, pretty good one. Uh, looks like three. Looks like it had a three contract set that hit its targets. And today's video uh, lesson, I think, is just uh, having the patience to stick with your plan, to plan your trades and trade your plan, as they say. Let's have a look and see uh, what happened today. All right, so I am back home uh, about uh, 10.40 now, and just trying to see what's going on here. I did not leave a template running this morning because, well, given where we are, I cannot be bearish. At the same time, when I was leaving, we were around 75, and I did not want to buy into this resistance area of 95, even though I do think, you know, we should be hitting 8,012 or higher. But, you know, I'm looking at this and it reminds me a lot of yesterday, this kind of a indecision and just back and forth. I like what the step MA line is because I am truly bullish only above 67. Uh, anywhere between 44 and 67 is actually like this neutral zone. And, and that's when you see all this kind of back and forth kind of deal. So I cannot trade that. Um, I think I'm going to put the recording on pause and just wait. Um, I'm not sure if they're waiting on uh, Brexit decision or, or what, but this is not the second day in a row where this, there was this indecision and kind of back and forth in a tight range. And I'm not going to trade that. So I'm uh, just going to wait. Now, now it's just bearish. I mean, look, it's as simple as that. If they cannot break to 8,012, we're going to have the same scenario as last week. The inability to break to 8,012 caused them to go down all the way to 7,840. Um, and that's really the danger of what might happen again. If they miss it again, it's going to be a repeat of last week. Here is the short. Uh, this template, um, like yesterday, $850 target, $500 stop trading three contracts, uh, 30, 50, and 80. Uh, the first place I would um, think price would go to is 44. This would be the first location. So this first target is a good location. After 44, uh, I think it's 35, 22, and 16. Uh, so, you know, one step at a time. Let's uh, let this trade develop. Uh, so, so far, so good. They are breaking down, indeed. Um, I'm, I'm really beginning to think more and more now we might have a repeat of last week. It's pretty much almost the same. They got through 67 and then tried, 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 and could not get to 8,012, and then could not even get above 67. So um, all bearish, uh, feeling very good about this trade. Uh, 44, of course, will be somewhat of a support area. It remains to be seen if it's enough of a support area to cause a real bounce or just a price they're gonna kind of consolidate around and then break lower. Here is the first target. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, gonna lower it to 50%. There we go, second target. And keep moving lower now, come on. Hey, 
Here we go. Come on. The overnight low, I think, was 35. So let's see if it's going to act as support. I hope not. But just in case, maybe I should uh, tighten up a bit more. Here we go. Target hit. Very good. All right. So, um, okay, so I was a bit premature, actually. I said target hit, but the fact is the target was 850. What was hit was the uh, third target here of 80 ticks. So I'm actually... Uh, still about uh, 50 60 dollars away from that daily goal but you know what I am not uh, gonna push it not under these conditions uh, tough trading uh, narrow ranges low volume and uh, tricky definitely tricky behavior this constant I am bullish I am bearish kind of <laughs> thing makes it difficult to trade so breaking 35 in theory should bring 22 breaking 22 in theory, should bring 16. And so far, as I said, we have kind of a repeating scenario of last week uh, where we failed to go higher and then needed to go all the way down to uh, 7840 about. So far, it's pretty much a repetition. If it will actually repeat at this point, I don't know. What am I looking for? I'm definitely done with this account. I'm going to just keep this. Uh, maybe reload another account with a smaller daily target. And I guess I would love to see a retest of 44 from the underbelly and then watch them fail at 44 for another short. It well, we tested the 44, I guess close enough, not quite 44. But if they are, if they are really weak, they won't even get to 44. So... I clicked on uh, shorts only here. Uh, this template is a seven tick range, uh, filtered by a moving average, has a $500 uh, stop and target, two contracts, uh, 12, uh, 20 and 80 ticks targets with a break even after 20 ticks. All right, let's see if they'll fill us on a short. Well, so they did not fill us um, and they continue to go higher. Um, I guess I should maybe pause the recording. All right, so they tested 44 a bit better over here. Now we have our short. Uh, first target here is only 20 ticks. Uh, this is a smaller time frame, and so, uh, but smaller time frames sometimes, especially under these market conditions, um, I would go for the for the shorter, at least first target. First target, and the stop is uh, trailing now. I 
guess uh, let's see if they can bring it down to 22. Now on this template, the second stop is uh, much lower, below 20. So we'll see. If they're weak enough, they'll get there. Now, I don't remember where the trail is here. I think... Uh, it's a volatility stop after 36 ticks. So that's why it's over here, right by the volatility stop. So chances are I'll get uh, stepped out on the trail before that second target is hit, unless of course they are really weak. And then I have to decide, do I stay and take the next short or do I wait for a higher bounce? Mm -hmm. Well, here is the 22 coming up. If 22 breaks, then it's 16, and then I will get filled on my uh, second target, so we'll see. I'd be surprised if 22 doesn't produce any bounce at all. So, uh, three points away, less than three points away from them tagging my trail. Yeah, like I said, 22 normally would produce a bounce. I was kind of hoping maybe they'll just kind of slide right through it, but guess not.
All right, so out on the trail, now I gotta decide, do I keep the shorts on or just wait for a bounce to what? Maybe to 35? The fact that the bounce of 22 is no surprise. It, it's absolutely, it does not mean that uh, buying is coming in, it's just a normal reaction off of 22. Just not sure if firming up on 22 means 44. But if they start breaking above 35, uh, then I might just not trade for today because then, then it would actually mean uh, bullish and I really, uh, this past couple of days have been challenging for me. So if they show weakness at 35, I might continue and finish up this account. Uh, but if they start breaking north of 35, I'll just stop. 